Hello class, this is chapter 1.4, video 4. And for this video, we are going to go through an example of a word problem that uses the growth decay equation. So let's see what we have here. Uncle Pennybags, the Monopoly mascot, of course. He puts $1,000 in a savings account that pays 8% interest compounded annually. So he never withdraws any money from his account. And the question is, how much money does Uncle Pennybags have saved up after 10 years? So this is an example of growth, since we are thinking about the money growing. And it grows at a rate of 8%. So it means that after the first year, he has $80 worth of interest, and he has uh, $1,080 uh, $1, in his account, and so on. So let's try to apply this equation. So let n be the money in the account at year t. And according to the information we have, the rate of change of the amount of money with respect to time is going to be 8% of the money in the account. So that w that's what it means for interest to compound annually in this way. So that every year he gets 8% of how much money is already in this account. And this is why it makes sense to write the equation this way. So let's try to solve this, to find the general solution at least. So this is, of course, a separable equation. So let's move all the n's on one side and all the t's on the other side. So we have 1 over n dn. And this is 8 over 100. So there aren't any other t's other than the dt. And these are both antiderivatives, of course. So on the left-hand side, we have 1 over n dn, which is just going to be natural log of n. On the right-hand side, we are integrating a constant, 8 over 100, in terms of t. And this is, of course, going to be 8 over 100 t. And we add a plus c here. So to eliminate the log, we want to take the exponentials of both sides. e log n equals e 8 over 100 t plus c. This gets us n on the left-hand side, and e8 100 t times e c in the right-hand side. And this is going to be our general solution, of course. We want to solve for a specific solution this time, so let's, to simplify things, write k equals ec and change the way that our constant is expressed. So this is going to be n equals k e 8 over 100 times t. All right, so we want to see what initial values we have. So what initial values do we have? Well, we only know that Uncle Pennyback started out with $1,000. But this is actually a initial condition in disguise. See, because we know that when time equals zero, the amount of money was 1,000. Right, so let's try to fit that in. So again, when time was zero, Uncle Pennybags had $1,000 in his account. So this is 1,000 time equals to k e 8 over 100 times 0. This is just going to be k e to the 0, of course. And any exponential raised to the 0th power is 1, so we just end up with k. 
And this gives us that k is 1000. All right, and we have a specific solution. We plug this in our general equation here. We have n equals 1000 e 8 100 times t. So this is our specific solution. So let's see what the problem is asking us to do. How much money does Uncle Pennybags have saved up after 10 years? So this means uh, t equals 10. So let's plug that in. So we care about the money he has when t equals 10. n equals 1000 e 8 100 times 10, which is 1000 e 8 over 10. All right, um, I don't expect you to be able to calculate these exponentials by hand, so let's cheat and see what Google has to say. All right, so the exponential of 8 over 10 is going to be 2.2225 and this means that this is going to be equal to 2, 2, 2, 5 and we actually have the cent value as well if you remember okay and we know that after 10 years this is the amount of money that Uncle Pennybags has in his account and he more than doubles it yeah, that's what's called the miracle of compound interest all right, see you class.